As cancellation and postponement announcements were coming fast and frenzy like into the newsroom every minute today over coronavirus concerns, you were being made aware that your attention was needed for the 2020 U.S. Census, which kicked off today. The census website is now up and running, and over the next few weeks, if you haven't already, you will receive a letter in the mail asking you to participate. The census is done every 10 years, and it is required by the Constitution. Our Misty Inglet tells us all you need to know about participating in the census. Misty. So in 2010, there was 77% participation rate in the census, and workers are hoping to raise that bar in 2020. Now you technically have until July 31st to complete the census, but you'll start getting notifications today. We have spent a lot of effort in the state of Idaho because it means so much to our communities and to our citizens. Starting Thursday, Idahoans began seeing these letters show up in their mailboxes requesting participation in the 2020 U.S. Census. The letter describes how to complete the census from either online, mail-in, or over the phone. Hi, I received a notice of visit from the 2020 Census. It also includes a 12-digit ID where you can bring up the census form online with your address pre-entered. If no census form is received, reminder letters and postcards will be sent every few weeks until mid-April. If we still haven't heard from you by the middle of April, then someone will knock on your door and ask you to complete the census. Should that happen, how do you know if they're legitimate? When a census enumerator comes to your door, they have to have their federal ID badge. They will have a briefcase that has the big white census logo on it. They'll have a tablet, an iPad tablet, and they are not to come into your house. They must stand outside. Also keep in mind, if someone calls you or sends you an email claiming to be from the census, that's a scam. You have to initiate the process. And no matter the method, here are questions a census worker or form will never ask you. Your social security number, you'll never be asked your citizenship status, you'll never be asked for money. Census officials say participation is important because it determines federal funding and congressional representation. It's federal monies. For every Idahoan that we count, it's at least $1,473 every year for 10 years. Our U.S. House of Representatives are made up on the number of representatives based on the census population. Now in the 2010 census, Texas actually gained four representatives thanks to the census and New York and Ohio each lost two. And in that same census, the state of Idaho also got $2.4 billion in federal funding that went to 55 different programs, including school lunch programs and Medicaid. Back to you. Yeah, all important reasons to participate for sure. Misty, thank you.